Hello, this is Lonnie with Roll and Go Farm, putting out the first roll of hay for the winter. And I thought it may be a good opportunity to show you a feeding system for round bales that works well for goats and sheep. It's something that I use here on most of my paddocks on the farm. So if you're trying to feed round bales to goats and sheep, you don't want a lot of waste, maybe this is something you can use. Come along. There are a couple of problems that you often run into when trying to feed round bales to small animals like goats and sheep. First of all, they're fairly picky eaters. They're not like cattle, so waste becomes one of the biggest problems. Anytime that uh, they're, you just set a round bale out, they're going to really waste a lot more than they end up eating. Probably 60% of it ends up going to waste because anything that falls off, they're gonna trample on, they're not going to eat that. They tend to run up on it. If you have goats, they play on it and knock a lot off. So that ends up being waste as well. The other problem that you can run into is the danger of when you just set a round bell out, they'll eat around the bottom part where they can, they can reach and it ends up forming like a mushroom shape where they haven't eaten the top. And then they like to lay up underneath that during the day, either for shade or if it's raining or just for warmth. And I've had this happen a couple of times, and I know other people have as well, where what ends up happening is it finally gets where it's too top heavy and falls over. And I've come out before and found the unpleasant sight of seeing uh, one of my goats or sheep buried underneath that not alive anymore. So here's a system that works pretty well, minimizes the waste, and is quite a bit safer, particularly if you have sheep. So the first thing that I do is I take an old pallet, an old wooden pallet. If you had plastic pallets, it'd work even better. Wooden pallets tend to rot. This is one that I used last year and you can see that it's rotting away. But I take an old pallet. And I lay it on the ground so that I can flip the hay bale up on its end on top of the pallet. That just keeps the bottom from absorbing moisture and they'll be able to eat all the way to the ground. Once you have the bale stood up on its end, you're going to want to cut the twine that holds it together or unwrap the netting if it has the netting around it. Of course, when you do this, the bale is going to want to fall and fall apart. So I already have a 16 foot welded wire cattle panel ready to wrap around it to hold it in place. After I've wrapped the cattle panel around the bale, I use a three and a half or four inch carabiner clip to clip the panel to itself to hold it in place. Now the problem with turning a round bale up on its end is it leaves it exposed to the rain and when it rains there's no way for it to shed off. So it just runs right down into the center of the bale ruining most of your hay. So you need some type of covering to go over it. You can use a tarp like a 6 by 6 tarp and just bungee cord it to the sides of the, uh, of the cattle panel that you have wrapped around. What I've done is I've used some tin, some 6 foot tin and used some old 1 by 6s to make some type of portable roof that I can just set on top of the, the bale. Let me show you how it works.
So once you have the top fastened in place, you're ready to go. This works really well for sheep because they don't have horns and they can stick their head through, pull it out, eat it down. Goats, if they do have horns, there is the danger of them getting their head in and getting stuck in there. So you do have to watch it. Uh, out, of, out of about 50 goats, I'll have one whose horns are just perfect length to be able to stick their head in and they can't get their head back out. So you do want to watch it if you have goats, but it works great for sheep or, or goats that don't have horns. I use it with goats that have horns as well. You just have to watch them more closely. Now, what they'll end up doing is they'll, they'll continue to eat until they eat basically everything from here down as much as they can reach. Then you just kind of have to push down this top to fill in those gaps. And then as they eat that down, you undo your cattle panel, tighten it up so that they can reach the rest of the hay and they'll eat it all the way to the, the pallet that you have on the bottom. And basically you have very little waste. You may have a different system for feeding round bales to goats and sheep. If so, I'd love to hear about it. Leave it in the comments below. I'm sure the other viewers would uh, appreciate that as well. If you found this video to be helpful, please give it a like or subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And if you're in the Northwest Alabama area or within driving distance of Northwest Alabama and you need some goats or sheep, give us a call and see what we have available at the time. Thanks and happy farming.